Betty Ethona Lima. I'm the woman MP for Wakiso District. I'm the shadow minister for local governments. And as you've heard, we've, we've just wrote in composition our parliamentary caucus. I'm the deputy to Honorable Zaki of the parliamentary caucus. We've said, and a lot has been said, but allow me to join each and every person who has appreciated all of you in what you are doing to see that Uganda is at peace, to see that we have a lovely country. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I cannot forward that thank you anymore, but I want to appreciate you. Thanks for ensuring that at least you aid us to check the government in power because you are aware we don't have any other country. Mikuwa no te tulina ayon sindara. Nawe mba nga mulie tulina esage called Uganda. I am aware that some of you may be already citizens this side, but you have one home country where you originated from. So the matters of liberating Uganda, when we talk about a better Uganda, when we talk about a new Uganda, it takes a step by you and me. We all of us have a great role to play. Thank you so much for that. At least a lot has said, and for me I'm so grateful that as we sit here, as we sit in this room, we already know what we're supposed to be done. We only pray to the Almighty God that one day, one time, we fulfill all our plans we have because we have to push on. We have to see that our country gets better. Whatever the case means, whatever it takes, we have to see that we have a better Uganda. I'm telling you, as Ronald Reagan put it, that good citizenship and defending democracy means living up to the ideals of, and values that make this country. By then, for him, it was for this country. But now we are saying that makes Uganda great. So we want to see that we make Uganda a great form. We want to see that. When you say you want to come back home, you feel there is no fear. When you want to come back home, there is democracy. When you want to come back home, there is rule of law. Everything is good as far as paperwork is concerned. But when it comes to implementation, we are having that junta. We have someone who feels that taking those Ugandans through tyranny is the way forward. But we are here to join you. We are here to be home there, to say no, and we stand by it. <laughs> Thanks to our President, Honorable Chagulani St. Am, is leading us, but takes each and every other person to understand the leadership and to understand that is leading us, but we are also supposed to be leaders in one way or the other. We've talked about education and trainings. We can't put that aside. And we have to be more and more united. People, let's understand this. The person we are fighting is over 40 years in power. He has stood in state. He has a gulf state with him. Probably it's over the army is there or what. Now everything is him. Everyone is there but him. So we have now to understand the junta and who we are fighting. We are aware of what is taking place, but we need now to be more and more united. We need all Ugandans to understand the cause. We need each and every person sensitized of what needs to be done. We cannot stand in this alone. We thank you for such mobilizations, but still we all together, all of us still have to do more and more to make Ugandans understand what is happening. But I know that you are not going to be able to do that. You are not going to be able to do that. I am a certified football agent. My brother, Kanyos, we testify that. I am one of the few people that have licenses in Africa to sell players worldwide. I have been here since this convention that started from Boston to LA to DC now here. I think I'm the only leader that I've been here always. Yeah. The reason why I'm here is because of the power, the 
diaspora people have to our struggle. I can say without you, we will move, but we will not move far as we have moved. Thank you very much. <laughs> we all speak about tackle the problems. The, the previous speaker spoke about the problems here of corruption, of injustices, illegal crimes. But I will tackle the problem. The main problem as to why we are facing that is because we have a dictator called Nick Bowen Kabuta, who said it. If we had a better leadership, we wouldn't be speaking about this. Why do we face the injustices? It's because people are trying to protect themselves to stay in power. Why are you we have illegal arrests and kidnaps? It's because people fear everyone that wants to touch the chair of Mr. Museveni. Corruption. Mr. Museveni is the leader of corruption in Uganda. You had the IVG who said I can show the justice in their own who said that whenever we are going to get that person, he has behind the president. He's a relative, he has a brother, he's affiliated to the wife, who is the leader of corruption. So we see all the, the, the corruption issues in the parliament and everywhere. But what I want to tell you is we can get rid of all those things if we take away the dictator. How are we going to do it? I know many people after 2021 election, which I said is that they didn't steal that. He just took over the power of Ugandans. Because if you wanted to steal, you wouldn't steal the boss they are very many. But what did you leave? He just took over and he said, now they are going to just announce me. I don't care. If you leave I've got 20%, they are going to announce me as the as the president. That was beyond the what we did. You remember the campaigns, how go up the and they are the same still we are the same thing we are facing right now. Again. Can we go and make a rally anywhere? Impossible. You saw the youth who wanted to come over and to protest against the injustice in our country. You see how they are arrested. One of the ladies who was pregnant, I don't know what happened to her. Others are seen in prison up to now. That's the system and that's the government where we are operating in the country. But it, what, 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 what should we do? Should we get drunk? No. We have no option. We have to be resilient. We have to persevere. We have to, because this is the only option, we have to remove the dictator. How we will we tell our children, our grandchildren, that we are there when all these things are happening? That's why I left whatever I was doing and I said how to be and participate in this. If you have no parliament, now you're okay. Everything is okay. And you have people saying, now for you, you have positions. Positions for what? Who told you that MPs are the richest people in the country? Unless you were him. Actually, people whom we do the same profession, the same professionals, who have We shall gather victors from where the struggle is over. We shall gather victors from. In the new Uganda People power 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 People power Asha People power Power People power Kunga Chicago Kunga Kunga diaspora Kunga
Galilee. We earn it, you have earned it. And it has been generously given by the Texas chapter. Texas chapter! Hey, Texas chapter. So you are officially members of Loop, and we are really very, very grateful. And we would like to walk with you to that canyon. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. The right time, those sisters and brothers in the armed forces will not only be saying they're with you, they will actually demonstrate it in practice. So let's keep talking to them, let's keep reminding them that you are paid with our taxpayer money. Please. Do the right thing. When they give you illegitimate orders, refuse. Don't break our young men and women. These are your sisters and brothers. Keep talking to them. Keep talking to them. The vice president, the deputy president, will tell you from our own experience that talking to these people, it does make them think. And we have when we have a number of them acting at the same time. Then it will be overwhelming and they will join in the right side of the struggle. I want to say another point about the importance of unity. Museveni hates this party because it has the word unity in it. South Africa, how did a population, a small population of 10% Europeans control that country for centuries and then for decades? after apartheid became the policy in 1948. Divide and rule. Museveni practices ethnic apartheid. One part of the country against the other. That is what he's doing right now. Trying to turn parliament into the next electoral college so that it can be elected by parliament. We must refuse to be divided. I urge all of us to remain united. Even if you have petty differences, suspend that difference for now until we defeat this monster in Uganda. Then you can get back to your small struggles. But for time being, we need ultimately what brought down apartheid in South Africa. Even before the election of Mandela, they had a united democratic movement. Everybody came together student unions, trade unions, women's organizations youth organizations, all the political parties came together. They said, let's get this march of apartheid out of the way, and then we can contest among ourselves. I strongly urge us to do the same thing in Uganda. Let me now talk about corruption as my final point, and then I want to invite a very good friend of Uganda, Professor Ron Daniels. I'm going to invite him in a few minutes, but let me just, give me just two minutes or so speak about corruption in Uganda. First, I want all of you to go to your app and open, go to Google and put D-O-J and Museven. D for David, O for Orange, J for Justice. That's the United States Department of Justice. D-O-J and Museven. And you're going to see a link. Open that link. Because some of you don't know about the story of corruption involving your dictator in Southern. And he doesn't want the world to know. But I want everybody who's here today to know and everybody on social media. DOJ and Museveni, open that link and read that press release for the Department of Justice. You remember when Mutesa, uh, some Mutesa became 